Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday, and I'm at the theater. As you can see, they have the beautiful sets set up. Is that backdrop? Backdrop set up for the play that's starting this week. It goes for the next four, four days, I think. What's today? Thursday, Friday, so three days. And yeah, so that's nice, at least. Anyway, I did not vlog yesterday because the night before I was having really bad allergic reactions on my skin, like everything was itchy, I could not get to sleep as a result, not enjoyable. Um, so I didn't get to sleep till like 3 o'clock in the morning, which is terrible because I've been talking about how I've been staying up way too late and here we are 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then I slept until just before noon because I was very tired, obviously, and I needed it. And then the plan was to go down to the next town over, to go to the hospice, to visit, and that took forever to get out of the house. Oh my God. Anyways, we got there eventually, and I was actually on my way down, and my friends from Blind Channel, who were just in Europe, so my breakfast buddy Strudel's mom and one of the other girls, were actually coming back from Europe, so, they were going to be in the same town shortly after me. And so we made plans to meet up. I don't know what's happening to my voice. Oh my goodness. We made plans to meet up. And so I had the visit time and everything for a couple hours. And then I went and met up with them at this cafe and I had already eaten and they hadn't. So like they, had, they were trying to be good because they just ate a bunch of cheese and pasta the entire time they were in Europe. Um, but I just had like nacho chips because I, I wasn't hungry. And then it was a race to get here because Shrill's mom had to catch a ferry and the ferry was at 9.30 and we were pushing it. I was like, don't worry about dropping me off at home because my mom was just about, was headed back into town too. And I was like, don't worry about dropping me off at home. I will get out at the ferry and she can come get me there. And so it's like, she's like pulling up to the booth and I'm like bailing out the door. She made it, last one on, but then we were just about there and I was like, wait a minute, I checked and I was like, there's another ferry that you could have caught like an hour later. But so we like, we sped and like raced through everything for nothing, but oh well. Anyways, that was really nice though, because I was like the first person to see them after they got back from Europe. So, and one of them was like, I'm so glad it was you. So that was nice. And yeah, it was good. It was nice to chat and catch up. But yeah, today the plan is to work. Should be a short shift for me, which is nice. I enjoy those short shifts. And then I'm gonna go back down to the next town over. My mom's boyfriend actually ended up spending the night last night in the hospice, um, not because he needs to be there. <laughs> but to, to keep an eye on his mother. So we're gonna go down, we have to pick him up because he doesn't have a vehicle. And also we need, it's, it seems so callous to like, it, it seems weird to me to continue living life when there's a situation like that, but you gotta keep living life. Like we need toilet paper at the house. So we're gonna go to Costco and get toilet paper. And I need shoes because my shoes are like completely falling apart. So I'm gonna go to Winners and get some shoes. But yeah, it's, it's like a weird thing where like you don't wanna stop living, but you do wanna stop living and just spend all the time with the people that need it. Anyway, that seemed a little too deep for eight in the morning. So I'm gonna go now have my breakfast drink and I will check in with you guys. Uh... <laughs> like a bird on a tree. Alrighty, so I'm in the car now. I am breaking out like crazy. Ew. Um, and we are headed back down to pick up my mom's boyfriend and like I said, go to Costco and go to Winners because my shoes are so bad. Um, the other, yesterday when I was in Strudel's mom's vehicle, like she has slippery um, mats in the front seat and I stepped on them and I just slid because my shoes have no grip anymore. So yeah, that's great. But hopefully exciting things will happen. I just finished eating. <laughs> And I just got my drink, which is terribly unhealthy. I've been trying to be better, but it's really hard with the situation right now where I'm constantly not at home. And I know that's an excuse, but I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, I'm sad because I don't have my laptop with me because I just came from work. Yesterday on the drive down, I actually edited an entire chapter. So yesterday was a complete bust. I didn't vlog, I didn't vlog, I didn't edit the videos that are piling up again. <laughs> but I did get one chapter done, so that's a win. And I'm feeling pretty good about the story now, so that's also good. I'm like, last night, obviously, I was overthinking and I was like, is this taking too long to get to this point? in the story and then I was thinking about like you know when you like stories how you go up to like the climax and then the denouement and then like the secondary climax <laughs> I'm a writer I promise but I'm strangling myself um I think I think it's good pacing actually because I was thinking about how many chapters there are and where I'm at and I think it's like perfect pacing I hope anyways I'm gonna go this is terrible I'm overheating too I should probably take my toque off but my hair is special. <laughs> I'll figure something out and I will um, check in with you in a little bit, hopefully. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Alrighty, so we have done some shopping. I found shoes. I don't know that it was as successful as I want to be. I found the shirt though. It's super cute and super cozy and it says Canada. So that's a win. I'm with my mom. Hello. And um, we're just leaving the complex here and off to Costco we go. So let's see how that goes. Um, hopefully well. I think we just need like toilet paper and paper towel mostly, but it's Costco. So you're going to buy more than you want to. I so. don't. She bought a laptop one time on a whim, so I'm just saying. All right, so I am home now, and I was about to start putting stuff away, but I realized I should, I guess, do a haul. So Costco, all we really got was toilet paper, paper towel, Kleenex, and I got some Coke because it was a really good price. Also, I, like, what? It's such a mess. I also got that pa uh, wrapping paper because I need to wrap a gift. Um, and then pancake mix, but that was about it from Costco. Um... <laughs> got me some chips because I wanted some at winners I got a satin pillowcase because I wanted to try one for a while this was like eight bucks so just gotta decide which pillow I want to put on because sometimes I switch them out I look so tired because I th I think it's because I am I also because I've been doing makeup more I got some brushes from winners they're Luxie brand 11 bucks for five and then I found the mini set so like eye, br eye, br eye makeup brushes. I am, wow, my brain is not working. And that was 15 bucks. I got a sculpting brush, which I probably didn't need, but I wanted it, so yay. Um, some more tissue wrapping paper for wrapping the gift. <laughs> um, something I think I'm gonna give as a gift. 
some more eye patches because I really like these. And I remember I got shoes too. I got shoes, which is the main reason I went. And then I got something else that I might give as a gift, so I don't want to show it, Pam. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I got. It is currently a 6.30. We're back home. I have to work straight for the next couple days, so I probably won't make it back down for a visit for a couple days, but I know there are plans. Oh, and I got this shirt. Did I mention it? It says Canada. It is so cozy. I'm so comfortable in it. Anyways, I like. I feel like I have... I wasn't going to say I feel like I can't talk, but I feel like I can't talk, but I feel like I have no personality right now. Like, it's sleeping somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to go now, and... Um, I think it's like dinner time or something. I don't know. I need to do some things. Like I need to um, video edit probably. Definitely edit my book. And I should do invoicing I think. <sighs> yeah. It's Thursday. Yeah. Yay. Alright. So it's after dinner now. It is 20 to 9. Oh I need to speak louder. <laughs> I'm charging my mic pack. So it'll be a good test for me to see how the audio is without them. But yeah, so we'll see how the audio is, if it's good enough to not have that all the time, because it's a little bit of a pain to turn everything on all the time. I did not think this through, so, I mean, I'll keep doing it. It's not so much of a pain. It's even just getting used to this camera, because, like, I have a lens cap I have to take off, and I need to spin, spin this. <laughs> There's actually, like, a lock, so it all tucks in nice and safely, and then, like, spitting the screen and popping it out so it's just getting used to it um i'm pretty freaking tired if i'm being honest like pretty good i need to do some invoicing now though so i think i'm gonna get on to that and then hopefully i'll have a little bit of energy left to do something like edit or a blog post or something i'm not too concerned about i know i know i'm behind on the vlogs like editing them but I'm not too concerned because I think I have like still a seven day buffer or something I didn't vlog yesterday so that got rid of one of those days but I think I still have like a seven day buffer so that's fine we're good and I have three or four vlogs edited we're good there I didn't make my bed though and I cleaned my room so that's nice but yeah I'm gonna just hunker down, try to get invoicing done for the first half of the week here, and then maybe do a face mask because this is really bad. And, um, then sleep. I'm working at 7 tomorrow. That's so early. Ugh. The mess has increased. Also, we're back to full audio, so I guess you can see if there was a difference in, in the quality or whatever my like I don't I'm like I look like a panda I am so tired looking like oh I feel like it's never been this bad uh, my hair I don't even know what's happening anymore it took me an hour to do invoicing but that is done now which is nice but I just I don't think I have the energy to do anything else today if I'm being fully honest <laughs> like I just want to probably sleep. I'm just watching a YouTube video with Tati Westbrook and Scott Barnes, who is JLo's makeup artist. He is so good at what he does. Obviously, you can't be JLo's makeup artist if you're terrible at what you do. But it is 10.30 now. I have to get up at 6.30, which is, it's eight hours from this moment. So if I go to sleep now, I might be able to get like six hours seven hours I can't even do math anymore that's how tired I am if I go to sleep right now I'll probably get like seven hours because it'll take me a while to fall asleep so I think that's what I'm gonna do also I really love this sweater it is so cozy I'm going to live in it this winter I can tell but yeah I think I'm gonna go now I just probably stared at the wall for like a solid like 20 seconds or something just like not even there I don't feel like I'm here not so much I would love to edit even like discounting the fact that I would get to sleep later I just I don't have the mental capacity for it right now like my brain is just shot so hopefully some sleep will make a difference there because the next couple days are really busy like I 
can't even count. Today is Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three days. Three busy days. Yeah, so that's where we're at. I am aimless sleepy. I'm gonna go sleep. I am not with it. Sorry. <laughs> but regardless, I'm gonna say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure. And I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.